Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to show you guys how you can use the NordVPN application on your iPhone. Now, no worries, I am on PC right now, that's true, but I'll show you guys footage from my iPhone as I talk about features. But before we begin, if you guys are interested in NordVPN, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as a full review if you'd like to learn more about NordVPN. Okay, so the user interface for NordVPN is a very intuitive one. It's got this very nice map design and it's very simple to use. You can just hit the quick connect button and it will connect you to the server it thinks is best for you. And if you wanna be a little bit more specific about your server selection, you can be. But first, let's just go ahead and talk about the features so that you can optimize the use of your VPN. Now, the first thing you wanna do is bring up the servers tab from the bottom here. Of course, I'm connected to the open VPN protocol and that's why I can see all of the specialty servers. So just keep that in mind if you wanna see the specialty servers. Now let's just talk about the specialty servers real quick. First of all, with regards to servers, you have over 6,300 servers in 111 countries. So quite a bit of servers and countries to choose from. So you're sure to find a server near you no matter your location across the globe. Now with regards to the specialty servers, you have dedicated IP, which will give you the same IP address. You know, these are static IP servers, which are different from dynamic IP servers, which are the regular servers. In dynamic IP servers or regular servers, you'll be getting a different IP address every time you go back to one of these servers. Whereas with dedicated IP servers, you'll always be getting the same IP address. You also get access to double VPN servers, which will route your connection through two servers rather than one for double the security obfuscated servers, which will help you connect to NordVPN if you're in a censorship heavy country, Onion over VPN servers that will give you the anonymity of the Tor browser on top of the encryption of NordVPN and peer to peer servers that are for specialty peer to peer activities such as torrenting. So that's pretty much it for the specialty servers. They can be pretty useful. It's definitely a plus to have these in your arsenal. And besides that, you can either navigate these servers on the map or you can browse them on the list. And if you go to the settings, you will find a protocol list. You have Nordlinks, IKE v2, OpenVPN, UDP, and TCP. And below that, you can set your own DNS with custom DNS. But if you don't have anything in mind, you can just keep it at default. This will definitely be the best option for most people. And as far as the protocol, I would recommend using Nordlinks. It's definitely going to be the best performing protocol. And under VPN connection, you also have the auto connect feature and you can add which networks are trusted or not. And here I'm just showing you guys how you will lose access to the specialty servers once you connect to Nordlinks and you'll only have the peer to peer specialty servers instead of the entire list. But again, if you don't need the specialty servers, just stick with Nordlinks and you're good to go. And once you're good to go, just pick a server and it will connect you as such. Here in the tools tab, you have threat protection and dark web monitor and some handy Siri shortcuts if you'd like to voice your commands to your iPhone to turn on or turn off the VPN. Also threat protection will block malicious websites and ads when connected to the VPN and dark web monitor will alert you if your credentials get publicly exposed online. So these are always good to just keep on at all times. There's no reason to turn these off. It's definitely pretty useful. And that's it for the settings. You can go to general to adjust the appearance if you want a light or dark theme and you have multi-factor authentication if you'd like to turn that on for a little bit of extra security. So that is pretty much it with NordVPN. You'll be able to secure up to 10 devices per subscription. NordVPN is a top quality VPN that is very well known for its performance, especially through the Nordlinks protocol. So I definitely recommend sticking with the Nordlinks protocol if you're looking for top performance as well as optimized security. And now that you understand how NordVPN works, you can just hover over the map and pick a server. Let's say you're trying to access Netflix US. You're going to go to one of these US servers, LA or New York or whatever it is that you prefer. Now, keep in mind, of course, the closer the server is to your actual location, the better the connection. So with that in mind, you'll be able to optimize the use of NordVPN on your iPhone. Again, if you guys are interested in NordVPN, You'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as a full review if you'd like to learn more about NordVPN with regards to the privacy policy, speeds, streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. And again, 
Remember to check the description below for any promotions or discounts. And if there are any coupon codes, I'll make sure to find the best ones for you guys. So as always, you can save as much money as possible. And if you have any other comments or questions, put them down below as I love getting to answer as many of those as I can. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next video.